Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Well, the weather pattern this week has no doubt been on the moodier side because either we have active weather, we got showers and thunderstorms, or we don't have anything going on, but we have to deal with dense fog. And that's been the case this morning as the fog has really thickened up, especially on the Mississippi River Valley from Vicksburg down towards Natchez and Madison, Tinsaw Parish. And it's even started to thick up a little bit around parts of South Arkansas near El Dorado. We're not tracking anything on Doppler radar this morning. Nice clean sweep across the whole region. But here's the live shot in downtown El Dorado where you can see that fog has really started to reduce visibility. Temperatures have been mainly in the mid 50s for 55 degrees at the El Dorado airport. Uh, winds are currently just calm out of the northeast and dew points are in the mid 50s. Now visibility across the whole area, it has started to improve a little bit out towards Vicksburg. It's still not that great down towards Natchez and El Dorado is currently at one mile for your current visibility. Even Camden is at three miles and we had some reduced visibility here in Washtenaw Parish, but our conditions here have started to improve. We do have dense fog advisories in effect for all areas east of Highway 165 and also for Ashley and Chico County, Arkansas, but even for some locations not in that dense fog advisory, you're not completely ruled out of seeing fog this morning, so just kind of take a slow out on the roads and give yourself plenty of distance between yourself and the vehicle ahead of you. Temperatures are mainly mid 50s. We warmed up to 60 degrees in Monroe. We're 58 Monticello, 61 up towards Greenville, Mississippi, and it's 55 degrees up in Camden. Dew points are also riding right there along the temperatures. We still have a very moisture rich environment right now, and with the calm wind, that's the reason why this fog has been able to develop. And we still have saturated soil, which is going to be one of the factors moving forward as if we could see some of rainfall going towards tomorrow and also going into Friday. Uh, we have the frontal boundary currently just down to our south. Models are showing it potentially lifting back up and we might see a patchy shower thunderstorm pop up along the I-49 corridor between uh, Natchitoches and Alexandria. So that's going to be later on today, but if you got any outdoor plans, it's not going to be too bad. We'll be in the mid 70s at lunchtime and then upper 70s by 4 o'clock later today. Future tracker shows the frontal boundary will start to become a warm front as it starts pushing back towards the northeast. The winds behind it will be completely out of the south and we will see some shower thunderstorms pop up along that warm front going into uh, tomorrow. We won't expect any severe weather for tomorrow, but as we uh, sit on the back side of that warm front, we're going to be sitting in a warm sector and it's going to be setting the stage for severe weather across our area once that cold front sweeps in back behind it. So finishing out today, we'll see clouds increase overnight and once we get past midnight, we'll start to see a few scattered shower thunderstorms pop up, mainly in the architect area and on north of uh, the I-20 corridor in Arkansas. Then as we get towards Thursday evening, again, still mainly South Arkansas. Could still see some activity in Northwest Louisiana, but we're going to see a bit more widespread shower thunderstorms going into Friday, and this is going to be the thunderstorms that will start popping up that could produce damaging winds, possibly even hail, and can even rule an isolated tornado later on Friday evening once that cold front starts pushing on through. We do have a slight risk for severe weather that encompasses the entire Arklamis, and of course I was mentioning that flood threat. We do have a marginal risk for a flood threat across parts of the region with a slight risk uh, currently along the Mississippi River Valley. So again, a bit, definitely an active weather pattern that we still got to deal with before the week is out. Betting high of 70 degrees for this afternoon and tonight temperatures will be in the mid 50s. We'll see clouds increase and then tomorrow we'll see those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures mainly mid 70s and then this weekend we'll start to see skies clear on out. Temperatures drop to mid 60s. We'll spring forward going into Sunday with our clocks. Then Monday and Tuesday we'll continue with the sunshine and we'll be back to upper 60s and lower 70s.